Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Eon here, and welcome to a Fallout 4 news update. Website, the Survivor 2299.com, has been updated once again on December 3rd with two new Morse code messages. But before we begin, I'd like to rewind for a second and talk about one of the new Morse code messages from December 2nd. If you have watched my previous video, you may remember this particular message. I theorized that there was obviously a sole survivor since the message listed 899 corpses, almost as if the vault housed 900 people and one of them managed to survive and got away. I also assumed that the message was being sent by the survivor himself, but many of you pointed out that it was most likely being sent from a rescue team dispatched by Black Row, and I have to agree, that makes much more sense. The message likely comes shortly after the successful attack on Vault 119, by which time these unknown enemies have probably retreated, which explains the portion of the message that says, ground is safe. The rest of the message then talks about how the team was too late, that there are no survivors in Vault 119 with 899 corpses accounted for, etc. And this team probably doesn't suspect that there could be anyone who could have gotten away from an attack of this magnitude. But based on the number 899, it's highly likely that one individual probably managed to get away. Perhaps this individual is none other than Survivor 2299, and perhaps this survivor is the individual we'll be customizing and playing as. Not gonna lie, this whole Vault 119 ordeal with unknown enemies would be a great way to start a Fallout story. Anyways, now that I rectify that, let's fast forward to December 3rd and talk about the first Morse code message of the day, which was decoded to the following shorthand Morse message, which was then translated to this, calling Black Row Outstation, reporting suspicious activity near a secure location, the Institute, and then this is followed by two possibilities for the second half of the message. The second half can either be translated as, one visual threat detected, Two, no, three unknown humanoids three miles northwest, over. Or it could also be translated as one vault dweller two miles north, three unknown humans three miles northwest, over. It's hard to say which one, honestly, since both fit quite well within the context of the messages that we've been receiving these past few days. But what is obvious is that this message is likely being transmitted by the same Black Row rescue team that reported Vault 119 situation after the attack. Also interesting to note is mention of the Institute and suspicious activity around it. It's given more context in the next Morse code message that was transmitted on the same day, which was decoded to this shorthand Morse message, and then roughly translated to the following message. Calling Black Row, calling Black Row, report, day 7, on Harvard Bridge. People are scared. Last night we heard strange noises from the Institute. At the moment, we see strange humans distance 2 miles north. Something isn't right with that place. Over. The plot thickens. Very little is known about the Institute apart from the fact that it possesses highly advanced technology and the ability to create true AIs and androids. So it's hard to imagine what kinds of strange noises and activities this Black Row rescue team is hearing and seeing from this mysterious place shrouded in secrecy. The message also mentions Harvard Bridge, which is a real life landmark that not only bridges Boston, Massachusetts and Cambridge, Massachusetts, but also leads into MIT if you go towards Cambridge. In fact, the Harvard Bridge is locally known as the MIT Bridge, so one thing we can say about this ARG, fake or not, is that those behind it really did their research. And that sums up everything you need to know about the website for the date of December 3rd, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. To be further updated on Fallout 4, be sure to join the nation and subscribe to Yong Ye. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much, and Yong out!